Coaches Weekly, Garrett Kajewski here with head men's lacrosse coach Brian Welch. Coach, one and one during spring break, but overall a very impressive outing for you guys. Yeah, no, it was a very productive week. Uh, Heidelberg, that first half, I, I was amazing. You know, 3 1, going and feeling great at halftime. Um, and then the second half kind of, you know, went a little the way we planned, but uh, we were grouped. Uh, the next two days of practice was great. Uh, they bounced back and responded well, and then got that nice uh, win on Friday, which was you know very welcoming. Uh, very proud of these guys, um, especially the two guys that have lasted the, this long, in, uh, Alex Panky and Jordan Loeffler, sticking with the program for you know three coaches in three years. It's got to be tough, and they executed the plan, did what we asked them, and you know got that first win. And so I'm I'm excited for it. All right, and we over those two games defensively, you guys really turned it on. I mean, Isaac Strand, Robert Padilla, Jack Liskey, and Nett. Um, I talked to Coach Pape Luck after uh, the North Central game, and he legitimately told me that Robert Padilla had like an All-American type game against North Central, and he played just as well in that Heidelberg game, yeah. especially in the first half. So your defense has really been coming up over these last four games. Yeah, no, the defense has been great. Um, once again, Coach Luck has tremendously gotten these guys in the right position, doing the right things, uh, playing at a high level. Uh, Robert Padilla, who's never picked up a stick of college across before across in general, uh, nine ground ball nine ground balls on Friday was amazing, uh, holding their top scorer to one goal. Uh, that was our one main focus on Friday was you know not to let this guy beat us and and we we didn't you know Robert was just a lockdown defender got the loose ball got it out into transition and offensively we finally got that coming along which was great and then. Um, Isaac Strand had a tremendous, you know, two games as well, and you know, once again, Jack Liskey, you know, making those unbelievable stops. You know, I think he had uh, a school record against Heidelberg with 27 saves, and then had another 13 saves on Friday, which was awesome. And then, and then Will Wassman too, who's just kind of like the vocal leader on defense as well, too, just stepped up and did a great job as well. And going into that Friday game, the, the offense finally showed up, yeah. uh, scoring nine goals. Hunter Combe getting a hat trick with three goals. Jordan Loeffler as well. <laughs> And then Demon Menefee coming back from injury, scoring two goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, it, it, it was great to get Demon back because you know you could see how fast he is and just you know beat a defender. You know if you get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, usually nine out of ten times, you know the offensive side is going to win, which was great. Uh, I'm really happy for Jordan to finally get uh, some goals. I know he was frustrated the first couple of games. You know we're getting him some looks. Now we had the opportunity. You know especially against their zone, we knew that you know if. We had a matchup like that with Jordan and Hunter. They're going to get their goals, and they did. And uh, I also have to give props to Ben Lang too, because he really found, especially in that first quarter, him and Hunter were just working the team man game and found each other, and it was great. Now heading into this week, we, you got the defending conference champions, Aurora University, and then Cornell. Just talk about those matchups. Yeah, and, you know, starting conference play. Um, you know, it, it's great to go against you know the big dog in the conference in Aurora and uh, Coach Berkman, who I have just the utmost respect for. Um, it's going to be difficult. Um, this week, we're you know, especially today, you know, preach to them that you know how you handle success and how you deal with it. How are we going to do that? You know, they finally got a taste of success. You know, we're going to keep that momentum going. Um, when we talk about the ups and ebbs and flows of, of the season, and you know, this is another test for us. You know, we're getting better each game, and now. How are we going to handle that? Um, and then on Saturday, you know, our first real true road test uh, out to Iowa. Um, St. Patrick's Day will be fun for me, um, being of Irish descent. Uh, I think we have a good opportunity there. Um, this will be their third game in five days this week. So it's a tremendous opportunity to, to get them. You know, I'm not saying that they'll be down, but I think you know, matching up a little bit better with them and, you know, the stamina I think is going to help a lot. Well, we look forward to it, Coach. Cougar fans, if you can't make it to any of the games this week, you can find all the live links at cucougars.com.